What's going on everyone? It's Sean with the Social Media Pros, a pressure washing digital marketing agency. And today I have a super pressure washing controversial topic to talk about, which is if you should be the $99 guy or not. And I'm gonna give you my five tips as to why you should really consider it uh, and some things to consider before you start making those decisions. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button as it helps the channel grow. Uh, I put out pressure washing uh, re uh, marketing and sales related content here on YouTube almost daily. So I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, now jumping just right into this, um, if you don't already know what the $99 guy thing is, basically it's the guys who advertise pressure washing starting at $99 and they get a lot of hate from other pressure washers saying that they kill the business model, uh, that you know they're out there doing work for free. But here's the thing and I'm gonna get into this, there are um, some things to consider before you go down this path, you're gonna be or not gonna be the $99 guy. So you shouldn't probably be the $99 guy if you're doing, you know, 20 plus jobs a week because you don't need the business uh, in a sense unless you're trying to scale. This is gonna be more for people who are trying to get more business. And I'm gonna give you five tips or five pros rather on why you want, want to consider being the $99 guy. Um, so just to re-elaborate, being the $99 guy is really just advertising on places like Google ads, Facebook ads, yard signs, social media that you have pressure washing starting at $99. And as an asterisk, that does not mean that you have to do full blown house washes at $100. You guys can, you know, you know, put an asterisk in there and say, you know, includes concrete cleaning under a certain square foot. So it doesn't have to be that you're doing, you know, four hours worth of work for a hundred dollars. Um, now here are, here's my take on it. I believe that the $99 guy thing is absolutely worth it for a lot of businesses. And here is why being the $99 guy, it gets you, uh, in front of a lot more customers. It allows for you to make more money. Even if it's a break, even I almost count that as making money. Um, because of all the other things that happen. Um, it gets you the opportunity to get more Google reviews, which I cannot preach enough, as most of you guys already know me. I talk about Google reviews and the importance of it being the number one marketing effort you could possibly do. So, you know, get you in front of more customers, uh, get you more money, uh, get you more Google reviews. It allows for you to upsell. So that's the big part of being the $99 guy and using it correctly is it's not to go out and do a bunch of jobs at $100. It's to go out and do a bunch of jobs at $100 build rapport with the homeowner and then start upselling services like house washes and roof washes. Um, and then really the fifth tip is that it gives you a lot of social content. So I know a lot of you guys are always lacking in the amount of content that you have to post to social media. So going out and doing that driveway for $100 will allow for you to get that. So there's a lot of pros there. The cons, let's talk about the cons. So the cons obviously is that you could potentially be doing work for free. I totally understand that. Here's how I look at it for scrappy, hustling, go-getter business owners is if you're just going to be sitting at home doing nothing, then why not go and, and work for free? I'm not saying work in it, you know, you, you have to come out of pocket because it's so expensive. You had to drive an hour and use $200 worth, <clears throat> excuse me, worth of chemicals. I'm saying make it make sense, right? If, if you've got a Thursday and a Friday that are completely not booked, if you can get some jobs in there where you're going out and doing dri driveways for $100 and it's not costing you more than gas, labor, um, then, then it kind of makes sense, right? Because of all those things I listed, you're a lot more people are going to see you out washing, social content, getting Google reviews, rapport, but you know, upselling, but the list really goes on. Um, and, and again, I, I understand the, um, the controversy with this and saying, you know, things like my minimum's 250. I don't get out of the truck for 250, you know, or whatever your minimum price is. I'm not saying that you don't necessarily have to have that. I'm just saying that if, if, if you have a, if you have a minimum, uh, and you're not doing jobs all the time, I feel like there's probably an opportunity there for you to do something like this. Um, and that's really just my two cents on it. We actually had this conversation um, the other day in the pressure washing um, uh, marketing Facebook group. If you guys are not a member of the pressure washing marketing Facebook group, we're almost up to 1500 members. The link to that group is in this description. Um, but I had some really strong opinions on it as a marketing guy. You know, Obviously, I'm not a pressure washer I might have once been a pressure washer, um, but you know, at the end of the day, 
it's crazy to me to see that guys who are doing three jobs a week have a three hundred dollar job minimum, and it's like they just sit around all day and they're like, why can't I get any jobs? And then they throw five hundred dollars at Facebook and they're like, oh, that kind of worked, but not really. And it's like, I mean, try try this at least, you know. Um, and I get it. I understand how it can be frustrating going out and spending an hour or two hours doing a job and then like thinking like, man, I didn't make that much money. But again, if you're really trying to scale your business, you have to look at this long term and getting in front of more customers getting more reviews, getting more social proof, all this other stuff is going to help you grow your business long term. So that's my take on it. I would love to hear uh, the other side of the coin um, or if maybe you have some input on if you are the $99 guy or if you're not, uh, feel free to drop a comment below this video. I respond to every single comment. So uh, I hope this insight kind of helps you guys. Um, but anyways, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.